Our theme for this year's Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day celebration is be an upstander, not a bystander, be an advocate for social justice. The story of how Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. transformed our society to bring equality, freedom, and justice is one of the most compelling chapters of American history. We consider Dr. King to be one of the most powerful agents of social change in the history of our country. I know that everyone will enjoy hearing our keynote speaker, Irene Miller, a Holocaust survivor, author, speaker, and advocate for social justice, will talk about her family's amazing story of survival during World War II as they fled from the Nazis after the invasion of Poland. Recognize the work of someone who's done this for 18 straight years. Alec Bender has been not only been involved in this since the beginning, it's been his vision, his dream, and he's made it happen. He works hard all year for this evening. So let's thank Alec Bender for 18 years of hard work. As Mr. Bender said, our theme tonight is be an upstander, not a bystander, be an advocate for social justice. Tonight we have the extreme pleasure to welcome Irene Miller, whose life story connects our theme with her message of what it means to be a Holocaust survivor, an upstander, and an advocate for social justice. Thank you, Mrs. Miller, for being here with us this evening to share your personal experiences. Tonight's event is also about listening to our students who will share their stories about social justice. We continually learn from each other, and tonight we'll certainly open all of our eyes a little bit wider what we can do to take action and be an advocate for social justice. As does Mrs. Miller, our students continually take action in many ways that demonstrate they are truly upstanders. Thank you to all the students and staff who spent many hours on the displays you saw in the comments and everyone involved in this program. Again, thank you, Mr. Bender, for your tireless support and uh, making this happen in such a classy style and with such a great message every year. Thank you to all of you for being here and let us never forget, there's a role for each and every one of us in ensuring social justice in Wald Lake schools and throughout our community. Welcome. lived all my adult life based on the Jewish principle in Hebrew called Tikkun Olam. And I would like for you to remember, if not the word Tikkun Olam, but what it means. Tikkun Olam literally means repairing the world, but implied in it is that we each have a responsibility to do everything we can to make the world a little better for everyone. It is the first time that I came across the word when I met with Mr. Alec Bender, upstander. It's a very good word, upstander. I will tell you how I am an upstander. First of all, how I respect people in my life. It doesn't matter what's their religion doesn't matter what's the color of their skin, where they came from, what's their lifestyle, are they poor, are they rich, they're good human beings, they have my full, full respect. I carry the notion of social justice, probably from my mother's even starting in infancy. When you read my memoir, the first chapter, you will see how my parents sacrificed their safety fighting for social justice. I, am, I do whatever I can to use my time and skills to enrich the life of my community. I am a docent, I am a mediator in courts, and so on and so on. But the most important thing for me, it is my mission in life to use my Holocaust experiences 
to promote tolerance and acceptance of diversity. What I told you, and I just told you like a little snippet of it, is an example what happened and what can happen if we don't respect tolerance and acceptance of people who look differently than we do, who eat differently or pray differently. You know, you young people are the future leaders of this nation. And the only way you can help to prevent horrors like a Holocaust from happening is learning and understanding what happened and how it happened. And I have felt all my life that when I see an injustice happens, I speak up. Because unless we speak up, nothing will change. And speaking up is the first step of it. And it doesn't have to be an enormous thing, even social injustice in your own life, in your school. I have spoken to schools where there was a major issue of bullying, and we discussed it. And this, I applied the same principle of tikkun olam. It means what you as students can do to improve the life of everyone your students. You are a wonderful group of people, and I had opportunity to meet your teachers, and you are lucky and fortunate to have those wonderful teachers and to be in such beautiful surroundings. Hayden House is a second grade student at Mary Helen Guest Elementary. He was nominated for the Friend of Diversity Award by his kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Kathy Murray. It is very rare that a student as young as Hayden is selected to receive the Friend of Diversity Award. He is unique in the sense that he began doing community service work to help those in need when he was in kindergarten. Mrs. Murray shared in her nomination that when Hayden was in kindergarten, he became inspired when he attended the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day celebration and he heard a middle school student Caleb White, speak about his work to help homeless people in the city of Detroit. As a five-year-old, Hayden asked his mom if there were ways he could help people too. Hayden then organized a food drive at his school where almost 500 pounds of food was collected for a local food bank. He also volunteered at the Women's Children's Shelter in Detroit where he ate, played games, and made crafts with the children. Last fall, as a second grader, Hayden organized a hat day at his school where students donated a dollar to wear a hat, and all of the money went to the women's shelter through the Caleb White Project. Last fall, Hayden also organized a paracord bracelet sale at his school. He made the bracelets, and all of the money that he earned, excuse me, was donated to Detroit shelters through the Caleb White Project. Hayden, with the help of some of his friends, packed over 200 shoe boxes with small toys and personal care items through a program called Operation Christmas Child, where needy children all over the world received the, gift as, the box as a gift. Whether the projects had, were done in school or at home, Hayden has a passion for serving those in need. Hayden's principal, Mrs. Michelle Fibge Lang, Lang, was excited to hear that Hayden was selected for the Friends of Diversity Award. She said, I am very proud of Hayden for his work that he, was, that he has done to make the world a better place. And he is inspiring others at, at our school to do the same. Hayden is a young person who has truly made a difference by the compassion and caring that he has shown for those in need in the Detroit area and around the world. Goodness, his, what, what, a, what a great young man. His parents must be very proud. And with that, I am very proud to present the Wall Lake School's Friend of Diversity Award for 2017 to Hayden House. Megan Granberry has worked tirelessly in all areas of her life 
as an advocate for diversity and social justice. At her school, Megan has been instrumental in creating and implementing school-wide programs to bring diversity awareness to the students of Mary Helen Guest. Megan has a deep understanding of what it means to be a teacher for social justice, and she integrates social justice and diversity topics throughout the curriculum for her third grade students. Megan is a long-standing member of the Wald Lake School Social Justice Committee. She's invested a lot of time in working on our school district's social justice initiatives, and she's eager to share her, her passion for this work with others. Megan is one of the lead authors of the four social justice training modules that were written for our school district during the past year, and she has co-presented the module that she wrote on small changes to integrate social justice topics in the classroom several times for both teachers and administrators. Megan's principal, Michelle Fipke Lang, said in her nomination, I have no doubt that Megan's daily interactions with both students and staff have planted the seeds of peace deep within the soil of our community. Through her church, Megan has worked with the World Vision Organization to raise money to bring clean water to villages in Africa. She's also an active member of the Royal Family Kids Organization, which is a humanitarian organization working to improve the lives of children who have suffered abuse. Megan has dedicated her time over the past two summers as a counselor at the Royal Family Kids Summer Camp for foster children and she is currently mentoring one of the children. Megan Granberry is an outstanding leader for social justice at her school and in our district. She inspires her students and colleagues with her passion for social justice work. She's done so much over the years to help children and adults who are facing the challenges of poverty, hunger, and injustice. Megan is a warm and a caring person and a talented and dynamic educator has, tr has truly gone above and beyond the call of duty to make our diversity initiatives here in Wild Lake Schools very successful. It is my distinct honor to recognize Megan Granberry with the Wild Lake Schools Friend of Diversity Award for 2017. As we go forward together into 2017, I want to urge each of you to carry on the dream of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Get involved, take action for social justice, do your part to make the world a better place. Thank you for celebrating Dr. King's birthday with us this evening.